has bought my little album, <laughs> and she um, asked if I would do this. I have a copy of that album. It's 78. I use it for ski shooting. <laughs> <laughs> and this song's not 1978. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sing the blues when you buy a late model. What is it, Forrester, Sue Forrester, True Warm Charge? How can you get away with that? It's my wife. Oh. <laughs> you, need, you, you need to drive an old Chevrolet. That's right, or a, a 61 nice... Cadillac with blood holes in it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, of these I have a Ford F 150 from the last millennium. So. <laughs> you know, if you want to get more hits on my YouTube site, you got to talk about T Rex. People love old blues pumping out of an old Chevrolet or a Ford F. Yeah, T Rex. You know what a T Rex is? They drive them in the South. T Rex. I might say T Rex. I was going to play a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beating my old 87 Toyota with 287,000 miles on it. Man, that was a gig rig. They took it to the top of the rear shot, shots fell out of it. <laughs> it was it was I love that car. Remember that car? But anyway, this song where are you? There you are. This song has a lot of meaning for me, because it was the last two I played as a radio announcer on KDR. Two, yeah, long time ago. Oh not that long ago. <laughs> um, but it was symbolic of, you know, I was gonna pursue a career in music. How'd that work out for you? Huh? How'd that work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> anyway, and it was um, written by Billy Joe Shaver. And I guess um, from what I understand tonight after speaking with this kind of person, that it um, has means a lot, a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, under enough pressure, even a chunk of coal can become a diamond someday. I'm gonna grow and grow till I'm so blue. You're after me. Put a smile on everybody's face. I'm gonna be my friend every day. Lest I should become vain along the way. I'm just an old jungle boy.
I am the 